Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So as you can see per the video, uh, some white women experimented wearing hoodies where about three or four uh, black men at the mall were arrested just to see if they could get away with it, you know, at that same mall. And apparently, you know, the white women, they, she said she walked through the mall Walk like a mile around the mall, you know, just trying to see, you know, what would happen. So, I mean, that's just the reality, you know, of white life versus black life in America and how we get racially pro profiled and stereotyped uh, by them, you know. So, it's good that these white women were un honest enough to record it and release it to the media of their white privilege because it's a reality right so um, us as black and brown people you know we have to have our own everything if they don't want us there don't be there hell the most honor Elijah Muhammad said we shouldn't go where we're not wanted right if they don't want your black face underneath that hoodie in there don't be in there brothers you know what I'm saying like go spend your money your time your effort and your energy somewhere else you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and that's just what that is. And uh, if you haven't supported the economic blueprint that we have, it's spearheaded by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. We're asking for 35 cents a week, five cents a day, a small donation. Uh, we have over a million dollars in it. It's going to be used to purchase land for our people. You can go to economic blueprint.org and sign up jay morrison also has the tulsa real estate fund where he's going to be purchased purchasing uh land and real estate for our people we really have to get into a a mindset of pulling our pennies our nickels our dimes so that we can really make some motion and we need sovereign land we need acres on top of hundreds and thousands of acres that's just ours Right, so that we can have our real estate there, so that we can have our animals there, so that we can grow our own vegetation, so that we can start to borrow and trade with one another, so that we can create our own independent economy, right? Like we once had, and we seen the most progress when we were by ourselves spending our money with one another, brothers and sisters, so that we don't have to deal with these racial disparities, these racial discriminations that we are afflicted with on a day-to-day -day basis. How much more do we have to uh, see to see that we need to be separated? Everything in nature has its own. Every creature, God, the creator made it that way so that every creature could be at peace with itself. Right? You look at the lions, the lions with the lions, the hyenas with the hyenas, the cheetahs with the cheetahs. That's just how it is, brothers and sisters. And you say, well, those are different type of, okay, even the fishes swim together. Right? The goldfish don't swim with the piranhas. Right? The garden of snake ain't finna be uh, intermingling with the rattlesnake. So it, it's like we gotta understand nature, brothers and sisters. It's nothing wrong with whites being with white people, black being with black, Asian being with Asian. But our problem is, as black people, we wanna be with everybody else, but we don't wanna be with ourselves. 
while other people gain economic strength by being with themselves, then they venture out and support other people. We got to get on the, the, the basic uh, rudimentary level of understanding of life. We don't have that concept yet. Jesus said, love thy neighbor. We got to start with ourselves. Charity starts at home first. So uh, let's get let's get busy, brothers and sisters, so we can create us a new reality. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.